Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can do some basic animations like this. I will show you how to animate the position, the rotation and also the scale of an object. At first I will show this on an image object and then I will also show you how you can do this on a 3D object like this cube. So yeah, let's go. Hey again, so let's do some basic animations here in Effect House. I will show you this on a 3D object, so we will create a 3D image first. So we go to our scene panel and then click on add object. Here we go to 3D and then we will select the image object. Of course you can do this with every other object because every of those objects has the same um, yeah, properties which you can animate. So yeah, let's just create an image. After you have created an image, you will see this gray placeholder in the middle of your viewport. I will just change the color of it, so I will select the image on the left hand side, then go to the right hand side and here I will just change the color to red, so, so it isn't um, yeah, that boring. <laughs> and then just close the color window. So now we are ready that we can animate this image here. I want to animate the image first so it goes from the top to the bottom of the screen. Then I will do some push animation and the last one will be a rotation animation. So yeah, let's start with the position animation. Now we go to our visual scripting panel here in the middle of our screen. There we can find a plus on the right upper corner to add a new node. And here we will search for a transit by time node. Just click on it and then it will appear in your visual scripting panel. So um, this is our transit by time patch. It has a lot of properties. We can change a lot of inputs and also a lot of output. So yeah, I will explain this um, later. The first thing we will do is that we set the transit by time from number here to vector free because we will um, yeah animate a 3d object and the 3d object has three axes a x a y and a z axis so the next step is that we get our position transform from our image so we select again our image on the left hand side then we go to the right hand side and here we can find the transform properties as i have already said we have a position transform, rotation and a scale transform. So I will start with the position and next to position on the left side we have this little circle. When we click on it we get two options, get position and set position. For the animation we need the set position. When we click on it Effect House will create this node for us. So now we can just yeah, place this here and we need another node because we also need to start the transformation and I will just start this with a screen tab. For this I will create a new node. So go to the visual scripting again to the plus to add a new node and here search for screen tab and then insert it. So now we have this green screen tab patch. And now we can start connecting our nodes to start the animation. So the screen tab output, so the next um, output goes to the start input of the transit by time patch. And then we go to the end of the transit by time patch and connect the stay output of the transit by time to the enter input of our set position patch. And we also connect the current vector free output to the value input of our set position node. So after we have done this, um, we can already try to click on the screen, but nothing will happen because we have to set up our transit by time patch first. So we have a lot of values we can change here. We have the from, this is the starting position of the animation and the to input. This is the end position of the animation. Then the duration, this is how long the animation will take. Also um, the interpolator, this is how the animation should function, if it should be a linear function in is in, is out or both. So I will change this later. And then here is also a loop 
input this is how often the animation should be looped so i will just set this now no let's let's leave it at at one first and then we will change it later but i will change the from and the to value so x i will leave at zero but i will change the y to 15 and also i will set the uh, 2y to minus 15 and also i will change the duration because at the moment is it is at zero so i will change the duration to two so and now when we tap on the screen our animation starts but it ends at the end because there is no um, loop set so because the loop is at once so it's just does the animation one time when we click again on the screen it starts the animation again so we can do this a lot of times so let's change now the loop to to five and change the duration to one and when we tap now on the screen the animation will be faster and it will be looped five times so one two three four five so now it stops here at the end of this patch we also have this ping pong value so we can turn ping pong on and then when we start the animation again you will see it goes up and down because this ping pong is on so yeah you can now play around and look what is the best animation for your use case when we restart the filter you see that the object is in the middle of the screen because the transformation is not set when we start our filter if you want the image or the object be at the starting point you can just change the transform of this of this object so yeah select your image and go to the right hand side to transform and set the y to the same value as your y here of the from so i will set it to 15 so it now it is at the starting point and when i tap on the screen the animation starts so at the moment the animation um, starts when i tap on the screen and ends after the loop count is finished but what if i want the animation to stop with another screen tap so let's do this for this we go again to the visual scripting click on the plus and here we search for a flip flop node so insert the flip flop then delete this connection between the screen tab and the transit patch and connect the next output of the screen tab to the enter then the a output of the flip flop to the a and the b output to stop and now when we start the animation we tap on the screen and tap again the animation stops So yeah, this is also how you can stop the animation and start it again when you tap on the screen. So this was how to animate the position of an object. So we will move on now to the scale, to change the scale of a position. So we can leave here everything the same. We will just delete the set position here of the set position node. So just click on it and delete it then i will set back the position of my image to y0 so select the image go to the right hand side and set y to zero so now it is in the middle again as i've already said we will now animate the scale so for this go to your transform properties and then click again on the little circle next to scale and here also select set scale so now we have this again um, connect the, the nodes just like before so the stay goes into the enter input and the current vector free goes to the value now we just have to change our from and our two values so yeah this is the scale so it will be scaled on our three axes so the from i will set to one so the x to one the y also to one and the set also to one and the two um yeah let's just two two for x also two for y and also two for z duration one second is okay and ping pong on is also okay now when we tap on the screen you can see that 
your object is pursing on your screen. So I'll tap again, stop it and start it again. So yeah, this is how you can animate the scale of your object. So here you have to make sure that you yeah, to set all three axes to the same if you want it to scale proportionally. So now let's do the last animation. Let's do a rotation animation. So I will again delete the set scale node and I will create a set rotation node for this. Select the image, go to the right hand side and next to rotation, click on the little circle and here, um, yeah, click on set rotation. So again, connect the stay output of the transit patch with the enter input of the set rotation and also connect the current vector 3 to the value input of the set rotation. So the rotation is measured in degrees, so from 0 to 360. So 360 is a full rotation, so it is back at the starting point. So let's just make this rotate in all three different axes. So let's start with the X. So we change the from and to. So I will change the from to X to 0, also the Y to 0 and the Z. The same for the for two. Also, I will change this back to zero, 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 and now I will change the two to three hundred sixty. Three hundred sixty. So, in the duration, I will set it a little bit higher to let's say two seconds. Now we tap on the screen, and oh, I ju just set it to. 36. I wanted to set it to 360. So tap on the screen and now you see that this is rotating. So we also can do this for the Y axis. So set Y to 360 and tap on the screen again and it is rotating again. Because this is an image object we can just see the front of the image because on the back there is nothing. When you do this with a cube or an other object you will see both sides of the of the object. So now I will just animate the last axis, the set axis to 360. So again, just step on the screen and this is rotating and yeah, because ping pong is on, it changes direction. Because this is an image, I will also show you how this is done with a other 3D object like a cube. So I will delete this set rotation node. I will also delete the image in the in our scene. Then I go again to add object here 3D and then I will select here the cube. So now we have also a cube in the middle. I will also now animate the rotation of the cube. So I go to the right hand side, click on the rotation circle and then select set rotation. Again, I connect the stay output with the enter input of the set rotation and then also connect the current vector 3 with the value. Then again, tap on the screen and you will see that the cube is rotating. But I want to see more 3D stuff, so I will set the 2, the Y, to 360 and when I tap again here you can see this cube is rotating. Now I will turn off ping pong so it doesn't change direction. Tap again and now it is yeah, rotating. Now you can play around with all those settings and just see what they are doing. So yeah, this looks pretty fun for me. You can also yeah, animate all the properties at once. So I will just copy those three patches, the screen tab, flip flop and transit patch. Then I will go to my cube, go to the right hand side and then go to the, to the position, set position. So we have also this node in our screen. So we also have this node in our visual scripting panel. Then connect the stay output with the enter input and the current vector 3 goes to the value. Now I want to, as I have already said, to animate the position. So I will change the two values back to zero. 
then from will be let's say 15 again and the y will be minus 15 and now when i tap on the screen it is rotating and it is also yeah moving here on the screen turn ping pong on if ping pong is turned on you see the animation gets also faster um yeah so we also have to set the duration to four if you wanted the same speed and now i will also change the interpolator now you can see the the speed of the movement is always the same but when i set set the interpolator to ease in and out and now tap again you see here when it is on the on the extremes of the points it slows down stays a little and goes back again so this is what the interpolator does so the rotation has stopped because it is a loop of five with a duration of two if i just want to have this animation for the whole filter duration i will just set the loop to a very high number like 9999 <laughs> and then it won't stop so you can also start this um, animation when starting the filter so for this we can just um, delete the screen tab and the flip-flop get the start node and select it with the start input so yeah the movement will start as soon as the filter starts when i tap now on the screen i also add some rotation so i hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you now know a little bit about some basic animations here in effect house yeah just play around with all the values play around with the transit by time nodes here and yeah i think this is pretty fun so i also learned learned how to do this by just trying around with all the different nodes and yeah just connect them in a different way and you will get some great outputs so thanks for watching and yeah hope to see you in the next video bye